Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, starting a playthrough of Bioshock. Uh, this is the remastered version on Steam, I think that basically just means it can run at some higher resolutions. Uh, I'm running it at 1080, 1080p, probably a 60fps, but I'm not sure. I don't really know how to tell. Um, so yeah, I like Bioshock, I don't like Bioshock Infinite, we're going to play through all three Bioshocks and I'm gonna talk about why our Infinite is real bad when we get to it, but first we're gonna enjoy the first two because they're good. Uh, you may also notice you can see my face. Hello! <laughs> it's just an experiment to see how this goes. Um, I'm just using the webcam that's on my laptop, so probably not super high quality or anything. I don't have a green screen or anything like that. So you're just gonna see my room and then yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes for now. Um, you know, I may tweak it later. Uh, I already did just start recording, like, just to, as a test, which is why there's a continue here and why there's some saved files. I believe I have everything configured the way I want. Uh, this took some fiddling. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's gonna discard. Uh, the control, the options there are a bit janky. Uh, yeah, we've got all the subtitles and stuff turned on. Uh, we're gonna be playing on medium. Uh, we could play on easy. I might switch it to easy if it becomes too much of a hassle, but eh, we'll start with medium and see how we go. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this game, uh, it's basically an FPS. It's got some slight, like, survival horror and RPG elements to it, but it's pretty much just a first-person shooter. Um, it's also, like, it's supposed to be, like, dark and spooky and stuff, but, um, in my opinion, it's not that spooky. There aren't a whole lot of jump scares or anything. I went in expecting it to be very scary the first time I played, and, like, it's not that scary. Um, still, if you are scared of survival horror type things, you may wish to give this one a miss. Because it can be a bit spooky. Uh, there is a cutscene right near the beginning that I might have to power away from, because it's a little frightening. <laughs> um, but yeah, for most of the game I think it's fine. Uh, we're just gonna hit new game, and yeah, we're gonna go medium. Uh, I have played a lot of shooters, but eh, let's just keep it keep it medium. Let's not make it too tricky. Oop. Uh, Ryan takes down smuggling operation. Fontaine and thugs killed in fiery shootout. Headline: Rapture standard. That loaded quicker than I expected. <laughs> 1960, mid Atlantic. This is a non-interactive cutscene, by the way. Told me. Son. You're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Bioshock. <laughs> I think it automatically turns off the subtitles at the very beginning for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, cause I, you saw, you saw a moment ago that I had them on. We'll jump back in and have a quick look once we're back in playable state. Make sure they're right. But yeah, uh, the plane we were in just crashed. This is still non-interactive by the way. Okay, I still think this is a very pretty game. Look at these water effects, all the reflections and stuff. Uh, we can't dive, we just gotta hang out on the surface. Basically, you try to escape. We're going this way. Oh yeah, you might hear my keyboard. I'm using a clicky keyboard, so. Uh, then some flames swarm over there, you can't go that way. You have to go to this lighthouse. Uh, like a mattress or something. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we're headed to the lighthouse. Uh, we can't really do anything at this point in the game. Like, we don't have any weapons. We don't have uh, pretty much the ability to do most of the stuff in the game yet. Uh, we should have like a HUD with health and stuff on it, but you don't get that till later. You'll notice like many FPSs, we have no feet. <laughs> uh, there's the moon. Okay, first time I played this, I was so afraid to go through this door. Because it's dark inside. 
Uh, before we do though, I'm just going to make sure... Yeah, the subtitles are turned on. I think it just doesn't show up for that first little cutscene. I think that part might be like pre-rendered or something. Okay, so you go in here. It's very dark. Very dark. And the lights come on, and you can see. Quote from Andrew Ryan. In what country is there a place for people like me? Andrew Ryan. The Great Chain. Propaganda. No gods or kings, only man. So yeah, when you look at things, like, you get a little subtitle telling you what they are. Uh, I believe these are called art subtitles. The game has a lot of flavour to it, um, which we're going to be appreciating. There we go, the Great Chain. Do, do, do. So yeah, this part, there's not a whole lot you can do apart from just follow the path. Uh, you can have a look at these things if you wish. Science. Industry. I think we get to sprint with shift later, but we can't yet. I'm trying to press it and nothing's happening. Art. The one behind the bathosphere as well? I think so. Yeah, but it doesn't have a description. Like a letter R for rapture, I guess. Okay, so now we hop into this bathosphere. Looks perfectly safe. Bathosphere lever. We now can't move for a while. We can look around, but there's not much point. All the stuff we want to see is going to be right in front of us. N fathoms. 18 fathoms. Oop. Fire at your fingertips. Generate plasmids by Ryan Industry. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you- Okay, there should be a subtitle for that, so clearly something is wrong here. It's set to on. Why? Try turning it off and on again. Yeah, um, unfortunately even the remastered version seems to be a little jank. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. So basically rapture is a libertarian paradise. Um, Andrew Ryan's name deliberately sounds a lot like Ayn Rand. Like, that's why they have very similar names. <laughs> All good things of this earth flow into the city. Rapture Transit Authority. We're going to quickly see what a libertarian paradise looks like. <laughs> Not good. Libertarianism is bad. That's kind of the moral of this game. <laughs> okay, welcome to Rapture. Use the right mouse button to toggle between weapons and plasmids. Yeah, that was a weird thing about the first Bioshock. In Bioshock 2, uh, you just right click to use plasmids and you always have a plasmid equipped. In Bioshock 1, you toggle between weapons and plasmids. It's weird. I can't move, by the way. I just gotta be creeped out for a little bit. How do we know the splicer is female? Did we ask them? 
Ja. Imagine I'm undercutting the terror of this moment a little bit by making silly comments. That's sort of what I'm here for. So yeah, she's trying to break the bathosphere open. Which would be bad because we don't have any weapons. Alright. Nothing else I can do. I guess I'll have to pick up that shortwave radio. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Now keep on moving. We're gonna have to get you to higher ground. Okay. Okay, we now have our health bar. A, this is a Vita Chamber, Vita Chamber. Uh, if we press M for what is this? If you are killed by the hostile denizens of Rapture, you will be revived alive and whole at the last Vita Chamber you passed. As long as your health will be restored, you will always have at least a small amount of Eve. Vita Chambers work automatically, there is no need to use or activate them. So yeah, they're checkpoints essentially. Uh, and Eve is the, is the blue stuff at the top there. Basically, we, we have to spend that to use plasmids, it's mana. Rapture is dead. We're not your property. Brian doesn't own us. Let it end. Let us ascend. So yeah, this first part, it's, it's quite spooky, but because we don't have any weapons, we don't have to really worry that much. But we'll be fine. Just a bit more. Yep. Here's a wrench, that's similar to a crowbar. We now have a weapon. Uh, we'll be using this for the whole game, <laughs> it's because it's very useful. Uh, you can search everyone, they will drop various good stuff. Okay, that's broken, we can't go that way yet. Yeah, you can see the game is a bit spooky. <laughs> uh, we have to go get a plasmid. Uh, plasmids are basically their genetic modifications that give you superpowers. And this one is free, Electrobolt. Scene that I got creeped out by um, when I was previously playing the game. So, I may need to avert my gaze. This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on Adam. Not as scary as I remember. <laughs> yeah. Let's pop quick. You're all this little fish ain't worth telling it with no big daddy. Yellow always had been. You'll be no better off with a metal daddy, little fish. See you floating in the light. Okay, that 
that's a big daddy. You may have seen them before because they're basically the mascot for this game. Look, Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute, he's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. That's a little sister. Um, we'll find out more about what their deal is later, but there's one for now. You all right, boy? First time plasma is a real kick from a mule, but there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? Okay, so now if we right click, we switch between our weapons and our plasmids, as you can see. Boop, boop. Uh, so we can use the Electrobolt plasmid to get this door to work. Let's go this way. Oh. Uh. Okay, that's the plane that crashed. Um. Just, uh, get through. There we go. Yeah, Rapture's kind of leaking a bit. Which is not a good thing for an underwater city. What we want to do is get in here. There we go. This part is still relatively secure. Ish. Okay, so, uh, Eve, like I mentioned, that's the stuff that. Yeah, we're going to be using that for the whole game. One two punch is good. So you just zap them once, and then and then when you hit them, they take a lot of damage. Uh, they stay electrified for a long time too. Uh, you can see we have three med kits and three Eve hypos now. Uh, we're making a good collection of these things. We'll be searching everyone we find because we need to get more first aid kits and e-pipos and things like that. Automatically use an E Piper if you try to use a plasmid and you don't have enough Eve. Uh, there's a key for it as well, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> okay, that elevator's wrecked. Uh, let's try this one. Up we go. Yeah, plasmids are bad, um, and we just started using them ourselves, so, hmm. <laughs> yeah, plas uh, splices are people who have used too many plasmids and have become very dangerous as a result, and will attack. Uh, just to be clear.
size of Plymouth Rock coming out of your crapper going on three weeks now? Now I ain't saying I'm Shakespeare, I'm trying to run a respectable leader. I got working folk coming in from Port Neptune trying to catch a little diversion. And all they can think about is the stink coming out of your shitter. Get it fixed. Oh yeah, there'll be some cusses. I forgot about that. I'm gonna check what's on this side as well. Actually, I need to go through. Oh, that's not a shadow. I thought there was like someone standing over there, but it's just water. To do. Yeah, that's a little sister. That's every splice is gonna try to attack a little sister. But little sisters are protected by the big daddies. Oh. I'll save. Oh yeah, when you save, it has to go to a loading screen. I don't know why. It's very strange. But yeah, that first little sister is now gone. Uh, that was just to introduce us to the concept, basically. Also, yeah, they use money here. There are dollars, which we will be finding. Uh, we do want to be finding those because we need to spend them in certain vending machines. Beta chamber, vita chamber, chamber. So yeah, I'm just gonna get past some splices here. Yeah, if they're in the water, they get a lot more zapped. It's very helpful. Because, you know, water conducts electricity. Any little feature. There's another Vita chamber. There's a medical pavilion, we can't go there yet. We pretty much have to go where Atlas says, so we'll keep doing that for a while. There might be something in these crates, though. Oh! Oh! I drank some whiskey! <laughs> oh, did, my goodness. I believe we can reduce the amount of Eve we consume as we progress. Because we're using quite a lot with each zap at the moment.
Need to go this way. For sure. Uh, no, this is just toilets. Oh dear. Okay, that's our first death. I haven't played this game in ages. <laughs> Being revived the Devita Chamber. So it doesn't like reset where enemies and stuff are. It's not like a reload from the last checkpoint kind of thing. It's you respawning into the. Oh dear. I might need to change it to easy. <laughs> We only have the two guns so far, but we were getting more, but right now we haven't got much to work with. medical pavilion. <laughs> Aim for the head, you will do more damage. Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can press M to look at the map. Oh, that's not the map. Uh, this is the map. Uh, which lets us navigate around a bit more easily. Uh, figure out where things are. It's a vending machine. Uh, as you can see, you can buy ammunition. Uh, you can buy first aid kits and stuff. And vodka. <laughs> So yeah, we were trying to get to uh, Neptune's Bounty, we accidentally got to the Medical Pavilion instead. Um, we're up in about a half hour now, so I may wrap this up. Uh, let's, let's hack this first. Hacked security bots are friendly and will attack your enemies. Start hack. The hacking minigame in Bioshock 1 is quite a mess. <laughs> Uh, Bioshock 2, they simplified it down to this really easy, just hit the hack button twice with the right timing sort of thing. But this is a lot more fiddly. Oh, let me see. 
So yeah, we basically we have to assemble a series of pipes that will uh, get the liquid to flow to the right place. Like that. This one's pretty easy, but they get harder. There we go. Okay, now the security bot's been hacked. It'll help us out, and it'll get out of the way, so we can go this way. Also, it will buzz like a bee. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's about, probably about it for this video. Next time, we will, you know, continue through the level. Uh, and probably find some Adam and do some medical pavilion stuff. Let's chuck down a quick save. And then let's end the video for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Bye.